allow members to seek clarifications where you are not clear and even those who have asked when there's something burning we give them an opportunity for a second bite i'll start with the debate speaker good morning and congratulations honorable Denturi, on your nomination as cabinet secretary for agriculture and livestock development as you know that is a docket that is the people of wasingishi county are immensely interested um as you know, agriculture is the largest sector of the Kenyan economy and the first pillar of the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto. I'm sure you also know that agriculture has the highest employment multiplier effect. Um, and this is a question that was uh, asked of me to ask you by my 25-year-old son, who is a farmer. He says the average age of the farmers in Kenya is 65, yet the highest unemployed people are the young people. So the question is, what are your plans to ensure that farming becomes profitable and that the farmers are assured of predict predictable income so that you can capture these young people who are unemployed? The other question is, how do you plan to assist the creation of jobs within the agriculture sector to address the high level of unemployment in the country which afflicts the youth? Thank you. The Honorable Majority Leader, Ichungwa. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. For the record, uh, my name is Kamani Ichungwa, MP Kikuyu. Honorable Inturi, as uh, the Deputy Speaker has indicated, uh, and I'm sure you're aware, that agriculture forms the, one of the core pillars. It's actually the first pillar in the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto. And you're aware, uh, I'm sure you know, that it is one of the sectors that has the highest employment multiplier effect. And uh, probably that's why the Honorable Bosholay is asking what plans you have to ensure that agriculture becomes profitable and creates jobs for millions of Kenyans who have no jobs. But also, I would want to hear what are your plans, uh, if approved as Minister for Agriculture, to dismantle the monopolistic cartels that have made agriculture not profitable to the majority of farmers, and especially in the dairy, dairy sector. Uh, I, would, I would want to hear what plans you have to make sure that you dismantle the, those monopolistic cartels to make sure that our dairy farmers are able to earn a decent living out of their agricultural endeavors. To Honorable Inturi, you have said you were arrested by a chief at a very young age to be taken to school. And as fate would be, up to very recently, <laughs> we've seen you being arrested. Uh, and I heard you also arrested during the Kanu days and charged with incitement to violence. Um, maybe Mr. Speaker would need to declare interest because Honorable Linturi, we have worked together um, in UDA and in the campaigns. And I may be privy to information that uh, contributed to his arrest. I don't know whether Honorable Linturi, you would find it proper because uh, there is already the affidavit that has been filed by Transparent International that touches on a very serious crime. Um, and I, I do know uh, the circumstances because you had shared with me and a group of us uh, prior to your arrest uh, the circumstances around the issues uh, that have been raised there. Uh, maybe it would be only proper that you share that information with the committee on the circumstances that led to your arrest, whether you are the the victim uh, and clarify that issue. To Honorable Linturi, I see that you have uh, attached a degree. A point of order, uh, Chair. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, Chair, I am also, we are also listening very keenly to the majority leader's uh, questions, but he's, he's not coming out clearly. We would also like to get the benefit of what exactly he's asking. So when you're talking about uh, a situation, maybe you can give us which situation because the nominee has been arrested severally, not once or twice. So which arrest are you referring to, the Honorable Chumba? 
<laughs> uh, the first one was really <laughs> not an arrest by the chief. The chief abducted him and took him to school. I think it's just a question of using the wrong language. He was captured by the chief while looking after cattle and taken to school. Isn't that so? That's what you meant? Yes. <laughs> yes. But the rest are uh, arrests. arrests by different agencies. I think definitely Honorable Speaker, uh, the Honorable Mbuyu should be aware, of course, that uh, the first one, I think is, it, it is his description of arrest, and he has explained the second one. And uh, the Honorable Speaker also did indicate that the Honorable Inturi has had uh, some runnings with DCI Kinoti. And that is the incident that I'm referring to because he did share with me, uh, or a group of us, at the time we were being tormented by the former regime. Um, in fact, Honorable Speaker, is that just that we were sharing information that had come to our attention that a number of us were targeted for arrests and uh, kidnappings uh, and those sort of things. And the Honorable Linturi happened to share with us an incident that had happened to him and that was long before his arrest and that's why I'm asking because it's information that uh, he knows and that's what I'm asking. Maybe it would help uh, in the issue that uh, has been uh, petitioned on by Transparency International. Lastly, Honorable Inturi, you have uh, attached a degree from the University of Nairobi for a Bachelor of Laws that you graduated in December, 21st day of December in the year 2018. And I also know that uh, at the time, I think you indicated you wanted to run for governor. The same DCI Kinoti had attempted to either investigate or charge you on uh, some degree certificate that he said was fake. Could it be this degree certificate that you have put here in the, fi uh, in the file? Uh, maybe you can also clarify whether this is a degree that was under investigations by DCI Kinoti. Thank you. One day. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Honorable Linturi and I served in the 11th Parliament in the National Assembly. So we know each other. Uh, Mr. Honorable Linturi, you know, as public officers, indeed as state officers, uh, your life becomes a matter of public interest. And I will pick it up from where the Honorable Inchungwa has left. Because I've looked at your CV, which is in the file, uh, and it shows that uh, you clearly have only one degree, which is Bachelor of Laws, second class honors, upper division attained in 2018 from the University of Nairobi. And yet again, it is in. Uh, public domain, as a public officer, you know, we're under scrutiny, that uh, at some point there you had an issue with the University of Nairobi concerning some degree. Indeed, the university went ahead to, I think, uh, deregister you or stri strike your name out of the role of graduates on account of some forgeries or alleged forgeries. In fact, the matter was taken up by the ESEC. I don't know what became of the, uh, of the investigations. So just to be, to be clear that this, this can be rested once and for all, do you, have, do you have only one degree from the University of Nairobi, which is a Bachelor of Law? Did you present some other degree to the University of Nairobi for admission to this course? Did you ever get a Bachelor of Commerce degree from, the, from an Indian university? These were subjects of speculation at the time of the investigations. Two, is uh, that on the 28th of April 2021, you were arrested by the DCI. 28th, 28th April 2021, or thereabout. You were arrested by the DCI for allegedly using forged signatures to secure some Kenya Shillings 530 million loan. What became of this matter? Because I never heard of it again. 
thereafter. Then, uh, when uh, the then or, or the current, if it may be true, oh, CS for interior, Dr. Fred Matiangi, when he appeared before a Senate committee, if I may recall, he made some very disturbing uh, uh, allegations against you, which again is in public uh, uh, domain. That as director of Articon Limited, uh, alongside uh, uh, one Emily Wantai, you forged company documents to facilitate the borrowing of another Kenya personal loan of, of Kenya shillings 100 million without the consent of uh, another shareholder or co shareholder uh, going by the name Kipchumba Ngetich, uh, who was subsequently again fired from the company for refusing to play ball. Those are the words of Dr. Matiang. I'm just paraphrasing him. You may want to shed some light on this, even as you s seek to be approved to occupy this very high office. Finally, uh, and the Honorable Chung has, uh, has touched on it, the affidavit by one Sheila Masindi, who is the executive director of Transparency International, uh, drawn on the 14th of October 2022. It is also again raising very disturbing issues. One, uh, uh, he, she, of, she of course uh, alleges uh, that uh, you were arrested and charged with the offense of attempted rape on the 30th of January 2021. She goes ahead to say that the matter was eventually dropped. Okay? But the charge raised, that's, those are her words, the charge raised, the charge raised serious issues on your integrity. Kindly comment, uh, make a comment on the same. Thanks. <coughs> I think those are uh, sufficiently weighty, <laughs> quite a mouthful. I would allow you to answer those three before we take some more. Starting with the deputy speaker, but you can choose to start from the tail end or the top. Uh, let me, Mr. Speaker, start from the bottom up. So. I'll start uh, by answering uh, uh, and uh, Mr. Speaker when uh, in my opening remarks there is and we go to another batch of four uh, we allow members to seek clarifications where you are not clear and even those who have asked when there's something burning, we give them an opportunity for a second bite. I'll start with the debate speaker. Good morning and congratulations, Honorable Denturi, on your nomination as Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture and Livestock Development. As you know, that is a docket that is the people of Wasingishi County are immensely interested. Um, as you know, agriculture is the largest sector of the Kenyan economy and the first pillar of the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto. I'm sure you also know that agriculture has the highest employment multiplier effect. Um, and this is a question that was uh, asked of me to ask you by my 25-year-old son, who is a farmer. He says the average age of the farmers in Kenya is 65, yet the highest unemployed people are the young people. So the question is, what are your plans to ensure that farming becomes profitable and that the farmers are assured of predictable income so that you can capture these young people who are unemployed? The other question is, how do you plan to assist the creation of jobs within the agriculture sector to address the high level of unemployment in the country which afflicts the youth? Thank you. The Honorable Majority Leader, Ichungwa. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. For the record, uh, my name is Kamani Ichungwa, MP Kikuyu. 
Honorable Linturi, as uh, the deputy speaker has indicated, uh, and I'm sure you're aware that agriculture forms the, one of the core pillars, it's actually the first pillar in the Kenya Kwanza Manifesto. And you're aware, uh, I'm sure you know that it is one of the sectors that has the highest employment multiplier effect and uh, probably that's why the Honorable Bosholet is asking what plans you have to ensure that agriculture becomes profitable and creates jobs for millions of Kenyans who have no jobs. But also I would want to hear what are your plans uh, if approved as Minister for Agriculture to dismantle the monopolistic cartels that have made agriculture not profitable to the majority of farmers and especially in the dairy sector. Uh, I, would, I would want to hear what plans you have to make sure that you dismantle the, those monopolistic cartels to make sure that our dairy farmers are able to earn a decent living out of their agricultural endeavors. To Honorable Inturi, you have said you are arrested by a chief at a very young age to be taken to school. And as fate would be, up to very recently, <laughs> we've seen you being arrested. Uh, and I heard you also arrested during the Kano days and charged with incitement to violence. Um, maybe Mr. Speaker would need to declare interest because Honorable Linturi, we have worked together um, in UDA and in the campaigns. And I may be privy to information that uh, contributed to his arrest. I don't know whether, Honorable Inturi, you would find it proper because uh, there is already the affidavit that has been filed by Transparent International that touches on a very serious crime. Um, and I, I do know uh, the circumstances because you had shared with me and a group of us uh, prior to your arrest uh, the circumstances around the issues uh, that have been raised there. Uh, maybe it would be only proper that you share that information with the committee on the circumstances that led to your arrest, whether you are the villain or the victim, uh, and clarify that issue. To Honourable Linturi, I see that you have uh, attached a degree. A uh, point of order, uh, Chair. Yes. Uh... Yeah, yeah, Chair. I am also. We are also listening very keenly to the majority leader's uh, questions, but he's he's not coming out clearly. We would also like to get the benefit of what exactly.